Hey there, my fellow Fallout 4 players. As you can tell from the title of this video, I ran into the mother of all glitches during my playthrough. The inability to move. <laughs> That's right. If there's a list somewhere of game breaking glitches, this one's gotta be on it. So what I'm gonna do with this video is help walk you through how to solve it if it has or ever happens to you and then warn you about one major mistake I made in the troubleshooting process that cost me my game. <laughs> yep, I lost my character, all my past saves, and two months of hard work grinding, looting, and progressing to the level I'd gotten from my walkthrough series. So stick around until the end of this video for that cautionary tale, it's a doozy. Okay, before we get started, let me show you what it looks like. You've been seeing me here spinning around in place. I recorded some footage so you could see what I was talking about before starting over. This is basically what happens. You lose complete control over your left thumbstick. You can spin around with the right thumbstick. You can even jump, but you can't move forward, backward, or side to side. Now, how did this happen, you may ask? I don't know for sure. I have a theory, but it's not confirmed. I was in the middle of doing some loot runs in between episodes for my trivia walkthrough series that I do here on the School Zone. I had just finished the Tradecraft mission and I was here at the Red Rocket dropping off some junk and I got an important phone call. I brought up my Pip-Boy thinking that was a way to pause the game and I went to take the call. I came back later and the game had suspended and the console had shut down, as it normally does if you leave it alone for several minutes. I'm sure you've all experienced that when you leave your console alone for a while, if you're a console user that is. It's basically a power saving maneuver and nothing out of the ordinary. However, when I resumed the game and exited my Pip-Boy, I was then stuck in place. I couldn't move. In the future, I'll just use that actual pause button. Again, I don't know if that's the cause of the glitch, so don't quote me on that, but that's when it started for me at least. I did some research and some PC users have had this happen when they exit a terminal, for example. But I play on a console, so this video will be mainly to help console users. So then I did the usual fix and reloaded from a previous state, but no luck. I was still stuck in place. I then fast traveled to a new location. Again, no luck. I arrived at the new location stuck in place. Turned the whole console on and off, started the game back up again, none of that worked. I even started the game over completely from scratch as a test to see if my progress file has gotten corrupted. No luck, still stuck in place. As soon as the character stepped away from the mirror in Sanctuary at the beginning of the game, I was just still stuck in place. To make sure it wasn't my controller, I tested it out on a few other games. The controller works fine. So it was definitely a software glitch. I immediately contacted Bethesda tech support through the Bethsoft website. To their credit, they got back to me within 24 hours. That's awesome. Unfortunately, troubleshooting the issue usually involves a back and forth of asking questions and testing different solutions. Although once you get a trouble ticket going, they often get back to you in less than 24 hours, sometimes as few as six to 12 hours. But if the problem is serious, then that back and forth process can take several days. So I'm gonna share the solution with you now that worked for me at least, in case you're here because you search for a video like this or so you'll know in the future what to do if that ever happens to you. The solution that finally worked involved the Bethsaw tech support rep having me go into the manage data area of my console. On the Xbox One, which is what I use, you can find that under my stuff. Maneuver to my games and apps, then you navigate to the game you wanna work on and click on the menu button to bring up a pop-up menu. Go down and choose manage game, then select profile under save data. Then you can delete the manage data files there. What's supposed to happen is that the console then syncs back up with the cloud and you don't lose your saved files or game progress. I'm no tech guru, but it's sort of like clearing the cache on your computer browser. It sort of jump starts your browsing experience again. However, here's the fatal mistake I made. Instead of selecting console data, I accidentally hit the delete from everywhere option. It was stupid, I know. I was in a panic because of how many days I was losing from making videos for my channel, and as soon as I got the solution email, I just went in and did it. I was in a rush and I wasn't paying close attention. Then when I lost all my previous character saves, I realized what I had done. Classic haste makes way scenario. Now normally with Fallout 4, you can have multiple characters going. You simply select the character profile you want to load and you're good to go. When I tried that, however, nothing was left. It had all been wiped out. There wasn't even a load option. It was grayed out. I even contacted Xbox support to see if there was any chance it was archived on a cloud server somewhere. No luck. So there you go. The solution to the problem and the mistake not to make when you're doing it. Sorry if you're here because you're experiencing the glitch too. I know exactly how you feel. Thankfully, I hadn't created any like super epic settlements yet. 
I was actually waiting on that angle of the game until more patches came out because I know base building can be a time sucker. And I would have like pulled my hair out, man. Look, wouldn't it be nice if Fallout 4 wasn't so bug ridden? Absolutely. Do I love Fallout 4 so much that I'm going to soldier on with it? Absolutely. A game this massive with the level of comprehensive interaction that it has is bound to have some glitches. No other game company that I know that produces sandbox games where you can talk to nearly everyone and pick up nearly everything is going to be completely bug free. I also have to hand it to Beth's off for making their tech support process so friendly and accessible. A lot of companies try to hide their contact information on their website and all that, hoping that you'll just give them money and then find out what you need from forums and Reddit and stuff if you ever have any problems. Not Bethsoft. They seem to be there for you. I'll leave a link for their tech support webpage in the description below. Now, if you're one of my regular viewers and you're just checking out this video to see what happened, well, I had to start all over again from scratch. Oh man, what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna need about a week to get back to where I was when I last left off. So the walkthrough videos won't resume until the following week. I may decide to post some short Easter eggs or tips and trick type videos that I have pre-recorded footage for. Since I have to start over, there are some interesting things I wanna try that I thought about later after it was too late during my original game. So stay tuned for that, should be pretty cool. In the meantime, thanks for checking out my channel and supporting the school zone. If this video helped, double tap that like button and feel free to post a link on any discussion boards concerning this problem. I'd love to be able to help out some other people that ran into this because I know how frustrating it can be. And if you want to watch my Fallout 4 trivia walkthrough series or any of the game tutorials, I'll put links in the description or the ad card above. And on that note, see you guys soon. Peace out.